morning. It's July 28th and I am back to show you a couple of resources that I am using. If you all have been watching, I um, recently begun to purchase lots and lots of books um, for the kids. The twins are four and a half now and so they are um, heavily into reading and we are reading with a purpose not just board books and fairy tales and things like that. We want to read good literature and um, great content, character stories, things like that. So, anywho, um, my main focus was Caldecott uh, award-winning books. And so, that brings me to there is an entire curriculum using Caldecott readers. So, here's this one. It's put out by Scholastic. This one is grade K2. And so, let's get in here. Kind of gives you um, an overview of what Caldecott books are, how to use the book. There are different um, links in here. Uh, it tells you how you can build a book group, the focus on the art, you guys know I was just oohing and aahing over a lot of the art, and how the book was chosen to be a Caldecott winner, mm, other resources, extra language arts things vocabulary stretchers and see the diagrams there okay so in here are there we go some lift the flap uh, books you can create plays you can act out dialogues but in here are um, a lot of the books that I have picked up. Let me go back to the contents so you can see pretty much. Uh, Make Way for the Ducklings, Little Island Finders Keepers, A Tree is Nice, Once a Mouse, The Snowy Day, Arrow in the Sun, A Pueblo Indian Tale. Why Mosquitoes Buzz in People's Ear, which I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with. And Oxcart Man Fables, of course. The Glorious Flight Across the, the Channel with Louis Blerio. St. George and the Dragon, Owl Moon, another popular one. Um, Song and Dance Man, Lone Popo, A Red Riding Story from China, or Red Riding Hood like that one, uh, Mary and a High Wire, Grandfather's Journey, Smoky Night, and Officer Buckle and Gloria. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, in here it just kind of tells you how to introduce the story. And then, they give you an art lesson. So, 
also. For example, you um, children will discover and observe something up close that can help them get details just right in their own drawing. Though you may not be able to invite ducks into your classroom, students will be happy to bring in stuffed animals. Or if you have a class pet, such as a fish or a hamster, use that instead. So you have them observe it, ask them how many legs, wings, paws, claws, and so on. Is it soft? Is it furry? Is it slimy? Is it prickly? Is it bumpy? What shades of uh, animal, light or dark? How big is it? What object or animal is about the same? What shapes and patterns do you see? And then you have them experiment with um, different types of drawings using, um, it says all shades of brown to achieve a similar effect. Try smudging with a pencil, a color pencil, or a pastel with a finger or tissue, and then let them draw. Um, let them draw the animal so they can do that. And then there's a book talk. So you say, What problem did Mr. and Mrs. Mallard have? They couldn't agree on a place to live. How did they solve it? What problems did Miss Mallard have? How did she solve her problems? You ask the children to share problems and solutions in their own lives. And then you can turn the writing center into a postcard shop. Okay. And then over here, Word Watch. Introduce the cluster by inviting children to make duck sounds. Write the word quack on the board. What letter makes the what letters make the act sound? Underline the act, then reread the story. Ask the children to quack when they hear the act sound. Okay. Write act words from the story. Um on the duck shaped cards to use them to start at ducks in a row display. Invite the children to suggest other act words. And then they can um, cut out more of those shapes. What rhymes with Jack? So just a, a fun activity to keep their minds going in that um, learning those sounds. And then there's a story extension that uh, brings in the other subjects, math, social studies, and also science. Okay. And then here's the uh, postcard. Um, reproducible. A diagram. You don't have to actually copy it, you can make your own. And that's pretty much what that is. Let's see, let's go to another one. Over here, there are also um, not just postcards, there's a journal page. The animal I am learning about, the animal is big, little, this is why I think so. My animal is longer or shorter than my pinky finger. I can describe the size of my animal another way. I can find three things that are the same size as my animal. Okay. So each book, there's a different way to cover the book, different activities. Let's see over here, this one has movement. This is the snowy day. Mm -hmm. And there's your journal page, language arts, the pocket chart, sequence, stories. There's something different. This one is why mosquitoes buzz in people's ear. Like I said, we have a lot of these books. And um, some of them are in anthologies, so we may not have the individual book, but we have it. 
um, retelling the tale. The students can um, retell the story, which is cool. And there's a map of Africa, which they will love. So, let's get to the back. What else is back here? So, there are, um, you can make puppets, you can do pantomimes, um, the language arts, social studies combined. Encourage children to learn more about their helpers in their own lives with this activity with a camera. They can um, take pictures. They can record things. So, <laughs> let them become little vloggers. <laughs> so there's that one. Get you the next one. And then we have Caldecott Activities, an avenue to critical thinking and creative expression. This one is elementary school. <coughs> so complete, complete. It covers a lot more. This one has um, Abraham Lincoln, Animals of the Bible. Uh, what else is in here? Fables, the egg tree, frog went a courting, Jumanji. Um, and so a lot of these, like Jumanji, if you have the movie, you can tie in the movie. Uh, Madeline's Rescue. Um, then we have Cooperative Learning Section, Whole Language le Lessons. And so this one is a little bit different. Abraham Lincoln, and it starts out with um, basically the definition. It'll give you a word that you define. So if we um, actually use the books <coughs> for the kids now, they won't actually write the definition. I will write the definition for them. And we will do a lot of this verbally until they are able to do it on their own. So we may cover this twice. It just depends. And there's an art project in here. And it gives you their um, materials. It tells you when the uh, book received its medal. It tells you the illustrator. Okay. Let's see. Something else different over here. Um, okay. Over here, nine days to Christmas, we have the the definitions again, and then we have some questions. And here's another story, the story on Meili. What are girls expected to do in China when their brothers go to the fair? Who went to the ice sled? So comprehension. Lots of comprehension. It makes you really think about what you read so this will give me an understanding to if they understood it or not um, because you don't want to just have a child read you want them to actually understand and comprehend what the what they are reading so the polar express again you can watch the movie
It says, compare the Polar Express to Jumanji. Notice the pictures of the forest and the people. What kind of similarities do you see? So, and then here are the instructions for teaching um, the whole language program. They do a quick write. They do a read aloud. They can pair and um, do their quick write. They do a character analysis. A dialectical journal is a piece of paper folded in half. On the left side, the student writes a statement. On the right side, the student writes down evidence from the book along with the page number to support the statement. Children may choose to choose their favorite picture from the book to copy using a similar art media used by the illustrator. So this is the little house. They get the theme. They do their quick write. And then down here in the art, you ask them, notice the house, what do you see, a face, think about the shapes and the picture, use watercolor to recreate the scene. So science, there's some science in there, you do nocturnal scenes every four or five pages. The study, the rising and the setting of the sun signify the passing of the hours of day, the waxing and waning of the moon. And it goes on and on. So pretty deep um, language art. And of course you can use this as a complete unit. You don't have to do everything in one day. So this could be a whole week worth of going over this book, which works out a lot better because then you make sure they are again comprehending what they're doing and Sam yeah, okay yeah and it says that they read the teacher reads the story and show the video so that is great down here some research the children can give an oral report and here are character analysis. Sorry, I moved the camera. Here's your dialectical journal. Then over here, it gives you a book holder pattern and some instructions. And then here's your recording form, which I will just write in my planner. And just gives you a whole bunch of other uh, things in this T.S. Tennyson product line. Awesome stuff. I mean, awesome, awesome. So, love, love, love. Questions. It says the vocabulary exercises consist of five to six vocabulary words written in context so the students will know how the word is being used in the book. The students will proceed to use the dictionary to obtain the correct meaning of the word. The correct meaning of the word is then written in a sentence. Questions of high level thinking are asked in an exercise to give students an opportunity to gather meaning from the text. Students must learn to compare evaluate, analyze, and create. Art activities utilize different media such as char charcoal, colored chalk, construction paper, tissue paper, brayer, styrofoam, India ink, watercolors, wa and water-soluble paint are suggested for each book. So, great, great critical thinking. Again, like I said, this one is pretty much will cover elementary level and I can use other books um, other Caldecott books that we have and just follow the same uh, curriculum pattern to um, to get them through those if they're not in the book so that's the reason why I was so into um, I'm so into the Caldecott because there's because of this curriculum you can find these books. I'm pretty sure you can find them on Amazon, but eBay. Um, 
very, relatively inexpensive. If you guys have used these, let me know that you um, use them. If you um, found this helpful, let me know in the comments if you're looking forward to seeing um, us use these did this curriculum please let me know and I appreciate you taking the time to view and um, yeah subscribe and I'll be back bye